Bula, Manale, Talofa, and welcome to Season 7, Episode 9 of Breakfast Bites by TevovoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's sports news on a bright and sunny Tuesday morning, 10th October 2023. Happy Fiji Day. Coming to you with Tan Savanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. At the Rugby World Cup 2023 in France, Australia, Portugal, Tonga, Romania, Japan, Scotland, Samoa, Georgia, Italy and Uruguay have all gone home. So, with the exception of Australia, Samoa and Japan, shouldn't they form the basis of a global Tier 2 comp? You could group the Europeans together in one pool, Portugal, Romania, Georgia and Italy with Scotland, and have Tonga, Uruguay, pooled with Chile, Canada and the USA. Meanwhile, Australia, Samoa and Japan join Fiji, Argentina and New Zealand in one pool, while Ireland, Wales, France, England and South Africa play in another pool in a Tier 1 comp. The top two from each pool clash in the semi-finals, and the bottom pool finishers each year are relegated from Tier 1, and the Tier 2 pool winners are promoted. Come on, World Rugby, how about it? In Rugby League, Panthers co-captain Isaiah Yeo beat a red-hot field of premiership teammates to win <coughs> excuse me, the club's best and fairest award on Wednesday night. Yeo won the uh, Merv Cartwright medal ahead of fellow co-captain Nathan Cleary, star centre Stephen Crichton and gun fullback Dylan Edwards. The best and fairest award winners at the Storm, Xavier Coates won the Cameron Smith medal at the New Zealand Warriors, Sean Johnson won the Simon Mannering medal, Newcastle Knights, Kalen Ponga took home the uh, Danny Buderis uh, medal, and at the Sharks, Blake Braley won the Paul Gallon medal. In football, it took nearly three months and they made plenty of magic in that time, but their bubble finally burst. And it turns out Inter-Miami can in fact lose with my Lionel Messi on the field. After missing four games with a muscular issue, Messi returned to face uh, FC Cincinnati at home, logging 35 minutes off the bench. But for the first time since he donned their pink kit back in late July, Messi could not hustle up any magic and watched on helplessly as since he won 1-0. And with that, the Inter-Miami uh, long-shot quest to qualify for the Audi 2023 MLS Cup playoffs ground to an inglorious end on a rainy South Florida night. In combat sports, this is my time and my division now, says undefeated Aussie champion Tim Tezu, as he finally gets a chance to claim and officially get his hands on the WBO Super Welterweight World title fighting against American Brian Mendoza on the Gold Coast this Sunday afternoon. In sports biz, Paul Pogba, remember his crazy hairstyles at uh, Man U? Well, he was suspended in September by Juventus after returning a doping test which, uh, with unusually high levels of testosterone in August. Pogba requested for the sample to be analyzed again in the hope there had been an error but the secondary analysis also returned a positive result. So, Mr. Pogna, Pogba is now facing a four-year ban and the cancellation of his Juventus contract. Following his initial suspension, his salary had been cut to US $44,500 from US $10.5 million a year. Now that's what I call a haircut. And that's a wrap for TableWorldSports.com. I'm Calden Kamir. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all, Tumas, for your love and support.